Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we're getting it all in Detective D, The Silk Rose Murders. This was developed by New Pixel Games, published by Red Deer Games and is usually available for £10.74 but this week's sale has it for a tiny and awesome £3.22 so get it on it now. Nah. So we play as Detective D or if you're Welsh it'll be more Detective Die, The Sheep Shagging Murders. Yes, I got that in there before the English did. Um, and since half the Welsh population is called Die anyway, it fits perfectly. Right, anyway, um, being a detective, we have a, uh, we have to solve a series of grisly murders happening under the Tang Dynasty. Who knows what's going on? I knows what will go on though. An easy 1k after about an hour and a half. Lovely jabbly. Also, the pixel, in this, the pixel art in this game is just mwah, blamissimo. It is just beautiful. But achievements wise, the majority are story related and for getting all clues on the deduction board in each chapter, and there's one prologue and three chapters, there is one sneaky missable at the end of the game though, and it's for picking a specific dialogue option, so just be aware of that. But that's it, it's good, it's fun, it's intriguing and gorgeous, and it's easy, so everyone's happy. So we should get this done in around one and a half to two hours, hopefully the pacing of the video is good enough. So, with that being said then, well let us begin shall we? And there's going to be a little cutscene, as you can see at the beginning of every chapter there's going to be an auto save, but I would save maybe once or twice uh, manually during each chapter, just in case game crashes, or you crash, or you throw your controller at the wall in a fit of rage for some particular reason, I don't know why we've all done it. <laughs> it's cost us a pretty penny. So, welcome to the prologue. Um, the cutscenes are unskippable, but the dialogue, which we will be doing through a lot of the game, we're just going to be blasting through with the A button. So, again, it's a very, very interesting and intriguing story. So, if you want to um, obviously have a look at the dialogue, by all means, pause, pause the video and have a look. But for just the sake of the video, and this just being a, sp a specific achievement guide, which is going to smash through by pressing the A button. So, we're going to skip the tutorial. Obviously, we're going to press the A button, left stick to move. So, talk to this guard. There'll only be, ever be two options when you click on something. One eye to look at him, and one um, set of lips to talk to him. So, that's what we'll be doing through a lot of this game. So, go over to your bag in the left-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner. Press and hold the A button to drag. Um, the roll there to the guard and that means we can now go in so it's very easy all easy to get used to But we're just gonna speak to miss minister Wang We're gonna call him major Wang because major Wang sounds more hilarious nice Wang major Wang I'm so sorry, but um, and again what we're gonna do a, a lot throughout this game is just um, Go through all dialogue options, so there's only a couple of times we're gonna pick specific dialogue options But for the majority we're just gonna go through every single dialogue option and that basically gets us a lot of clues So that's all good, but yeah in terms of, if, in terms of your inventory That's all you got to do is just drag your cursor down to the bottom left hand corner press and hold the A button and Drag it to whatever you want if you want to view a particular item in your inventory just press the A button once so here we go then T tell me what happened mr. Wang if you could do it without touching your Wang that would also help um, which are gonna choose how ironic it did again a lot of these dialogue choices this so linear it doesn't make a difference so pick up the used candle immediately just by your feet right there and just underneath the achievement which has just popped lovely there is going to be the cap which we're going to pick up as well so just by the old dead man's the old dead man's head looks unfortunate so um get out your chopsticks and use mon choi we're going to examine his torso something is tucked under his i hope it's not his major wang <laughs> and then we're just going to ex examine everything else so arms legs and head and then we can just summarize Again, if you want to touch his major wang, that's up to you. I'm going to stop making that joke now, I promise. Sorry. And again, what we're going to do then is just blast through all the dialogue options, <laughs> and then we should be good. Even the even when it branches off to other dialogue options, just smash through every single one. And off pops Wang to uh, examine his own self. 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to your inventory and then interact with the cat by pressing the A button on it once. That gives us an anonymous letter. Oh, is that from Detective Die? Oh, Die Boy. And then what we're going to do, uh, interact with the anonymous letter again and exit and that will get us our first clue. Press the A or B button to back out and then what we're going to do is head to the left. Of course, you have to press the A button to go to the left. Or to walk, absolutely, anyway. And we're going to speak to Captain Bay. Now, hilariously, remember, Bay means poop in Danish. So he is technically Captain Poop, which is just hilariously fantastic again. So you're going to speak to this guy, um, uh, Captain Poop. He's not really going to give us anything, so we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to walk across. We're going to have to investigate more. Oh, sorry, die back. We'll be back now, die boy. With our sheep shagging murder investigations. All right. Lovely. Right, have a look at the rag just by the table there. I hope that's not Major Wang's rag. <laughs> Wang and rag doesn't uh, necessarily go well. Um, especially when you keep it under your bed for three months. Right, uh, speak to this guy right here. The old janitorium. And again, what we're going to do is just smash through all the dialogue. So go ahead and do that. My name's Detective Die. Where's all your sheep boobin shagging, boy? I mean, he says leave him to his work, but uh, he's sweeping one spot. Well, you stink, dude. Right, we're going all the way to the left now into the sitting room. And then what we're going to do is um, speak to Big Wang himself. Big Wang Wah. Wat Wang. <laughs> Minister Wat Wang. And again, it's all... And, and again, we'll be doing this a lot through the game. A lot of talking in this game, which, you know, nothing wrong with that. But uh, we're just going to go all the way to the left. And we're going to speak to Sun Ying, the pretty little lady in the uh, dress right here. So again, it's going to be a case of smashing through all the dialogue. Hello, my name's Dai. And all that jazz once again. Even if your name's not Dai in Wales, it ends up being Dai somehow. I don't know how that happens, but it does. Right, so thank you, Sun. But now we're going to the kitchen, which is just to the left of Ms. Ying. And then what we're going to do is now speak to Chef Chu. Chef Chu. Chef Chu. How does that work out? It's either Chef Chu or Chef Chu. Well, whatever. Again, you're just going to be doing the same thing. Smash through all the dialogue and, you know, chuck us up one of them uh, nice Chinese burgers if you want. Actually, chefs in China do a lot better than moldy old burgers that are in the UK. Right, go into your inventory, give the coated rag to Chef Chu. Chef Chu, and he's going to give it the old uh, sniff. That was peppermint with a little bit of cane in it. But what that does is actually give us our second clue. So now we can go to the sitting room. Oh, in fact, no, grab the charcoal tongs, sorry, before on the left-hand side. Make sure to grab the char charcoal tongs. <laughs> Getting my English mixed up before going into the sitting room. Right, from here what we're going to do is go left back to the entrance courtyard. And what we're going to do is now go up into the storage room. This is the prologue, by the way, just in case you hadn't noticed. Uh, go into your inventory, open it up, and then grab the key to the lockbox. And remember, you've got to press and hold the A button to drag your inventory places. So drag it over to the lockbox on the right-hand side. And then we're going to be like... Now, what do we got here? Oh, sheep testicles, sheep wieners. Now, we actually just need to grab the fourth candle there, the one with the weird pattern on it. So make sure to grab that. That button's fine. Oh, I've seen a bunch of sheep dicks in here. Right then, somebody's definitely doing this. Right, we're going back down, and then where we're going is going all the way back to the right, back into the sitting room. Again, there's a lot of walking back and forth with no shortcuts, which is a bit of a annoyance sometimes, but it's not actually all bad. But we're heading back into the kitchen, going back into our inventory, and grabbing the sheep wiener candle and giving it to Chef Shu again. And again, anytime there's any dialogue options, we're just going to smash everything. But there is the third clue already done then for this, um, for this little chapter. So head back out, and next we're going back to the left again. 
It is literally, you talk to someone, then you got to go all the way back to the right, talk to someone. It is that kind of game. So we're heading back to the left. This is basically the starting area where we met um, Mr. Wat Wang. Uh, go back outside. Now we're going to speak to Sergeant Feng. And again, just smash through all the dialogue. Right, let's go back to the entrance courtyard. Thanks for everything you just said. You said it a bit too quick, so we couldn't even tell. Um, right, we're going all the way back to the right now. Back into the sitting room. Man, dude is... No wonder dude's so skinny. He's bloody walking everywhere just to get a bit of information. Right, now we're going all the way. All the way. All the way to the right. Back into the main courtyard. I can't they just get everyone together? Like, right, I accuse you. Job done. Right, have a look at the... Um, if we go, continue going to the right, because we're going to the waterfall again. This time, what we're going to do is whip out our inventorious. And we're going to grab the charcoal tongs and put it in the tree hollow. Oh, well, I was going to say give it to the guy then, but where are you going to stick uh, hit the charcoal tongs up that guy? Right, so we've got another bit of information. We've got another clue. That's four out of six now for the chapter. Jobs are good un. And then what we can do, we can actually speak now to Captain Poop once again. How did everyone go through a, a, a whole thing of calling each other Bay? Everyone kept calling each other Poop. I just don't get it. Right, choose now is not the time. And then again, just smash through all the dialogue as we've been doing and as we will be doing. Of course, sometimes you do have to be careful not to just keep spamming the A button. You have to be careful sometimes, otherwise you just keep asking them the same bloody questions all the time. Uh, right, let's go to the main courtyard now. And this comes in especially handy when we have to do the um, uh, the reenactment later. We have to choose specific dialogue options. By the way, what I forgot to tell you was if you keep spamming the A button, um, you can actually walk just a little bit faster. But Detective Die sort of does like a weird kind of half-stroke walk or something. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to the left and speak to Sun Ying. And we're just going to ask her about the ambassador's cap. There we go, we'll exit that one. Oh, you are of some help, you pretty ting. You're making me look better. He <laughs> he Right, now we're going back to the main courtyard anyway. And what we're going to do is speak to... Uh, what's his name? In fact, no, we're not looking at the stone table. We're looking at the stone bench, which is just above on the top of the screen. We're going to interact with that. Again, there's not many times through the game we are going to uh, use the eye icon. It's going to be either talking or the sort of hand interaction one. So, speak to the janitor. Did you see Ambassador Chop Chop's um, cap? Uh, fair play, die. We are bloody good at this, aren't we? Aren't we? Right, back to the sitting room anyway, and we're going to speak to Mr. Which Wang? Oh, what Wang? Oh, that Wang. Speak to the big Wang. And again, just ask him about the house steward. Right, now that uh, Big Wang has helped us out, we can now go back outside. We're going to, once again, speak to Steward Song. Now, that doesn't sound like a very Chinese name. Hello, my name is Steward. Nah, <laughs> joking, he's just a janitor. Right, ask him about the Liangs. And again, just smash through all the dialogue, whatever pops up. A lot of the time, just choosing the top option will help, but that gets us our fifth clue. And now we're going to go back to the left, into the sitting room again. Hello, die! Right, back into the kitchen, just above us there. And we're going to speak once again to Chef Shu. 
And again, it'll just be a case of the same thing as we'll be doing. Ask about the setting, missing set of keys. Oh, happy days. Somehow he just has it on him. Yeah, thanks, Chef. You, uh, you little son of a... I'll be keeping my eyes on you. Right, go to uh, the left now. We're going back to the left. All the way to the left. Again, just keep spamming the A button. Sometimes he walks with good grace, and then other times it looks like he's just twisted his ankle or something. Don't know how that works out, but it is. Right, basically, we're going all the way back to the left, back to the starting area, because now we're going to speak to um, Captain Feng once again. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm a rhymer, and I did know it. Oh, damn it. Anyway. I, I, uh, ask about the missing keys again. He's going to give us another one. Cheers, Mr. Feng Wang. And then when that slash should now be two out of three. So what we're going to do now is go um, up to the storage room. But, oh my God, dead Sun Ying. I mean, you know, couldn't have been any more subtle than that. But yes, Sun Ying has, um, well, she ended her life. That's unfortunate. And I think we know why. Some only guilty people kill themselves. Right, so we should have three keys, so just um, drag the one over and they should all go. Uh, little tiny puzzle, very easy. So what we need to do is interact with the left one three times. So click the left one here three times. Uh, one, a two, a three. Click the middle one twice. And click the right one once. And then basically what it's done is got the same symbol um, just on top of the uh, actual keys there. So, for some reason, that was a big puzzle to hide the ambassador's cap when you could have burnt it instead. But there we go. So, right, um, again, get the cap out of your inventory, interact with it, and that gets us a signed letter. Go back into your inventory and press A on the signed letter again. And, oh, there's oh, there's a little, uh, little love bug affair going. Right, so that's the investigation. Complete. That gets us the crime of passion achievement. So now we can walk it down to the entrance courtyard, and we are basically done now with the prologue. Quite a big prologue, mind. Even the chapters are not. Uh, the chapters are pretty similar as well. Right. So get your wang out. Both of you get your wangs out and have a little chat, eye to eye, <laughs> brown eye winking. <laughs> Right, here's the case reenactment. Now, every time after this, we have to choose the right dialogue options. So don't go smashing through the dialogue, because you always end up, may end up, um, picking the, the wrong one. So, for this one, it is the cap exchange, the first one. So, like I said, just go through this bit of dialogue nice and slowly, because a lot of the times the cursor ends up on the dialogue options, and you might accidentally pick the wrong one. So... Um, I don't know what happens if you pick the wrong one, but still. So again, just nice and slow. Sun Ying. Now this one, she struck him with a candlestick. The top option there. So, Sun Ying. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate for the guy. Hmm. Maybe try not to poke your nose in people's affair. Or was he poking his nose in her affair? Uh, whatever. Anyway, join the ambassador is the final one here, which was the bottom option. So, a bit unfortunate. People were sticking the noses up her. I don't know what was going on, really. Smashed through the dialogue a bit quick. But there we go. Now it's going to be another unskippable cutscene until chapter 2 begins. So, there we go. Again, any dialogue options from here on out that you need to speak with people, it just, just go through them all. Go through them all. Say goodbye to your Wang. And, uh, <laughs> we'll be back, Mr. Wah Wang.
Ten months later, sailing on a bloody sailing boat. Bloody hell, we're never going to keep these sheep shagging murders otherwise. So anyway, here we go then. Chapter 1, it's in this nice serene little area. A uh, few little things to do here. And the first thing is to speak to this deer. Oh dear, he's in the way. So since apparently we can't just go around the deer, there is a drumstick just to the left of us, uh, very well hidden there. Pick up the drumstick which is on the stone, and then what you need to do is actually go to the right, interact with the drum first. Because uh, as you'll be able to see, if you try and do it um, just out of the inventory, it does not work. So you have to examine the drum first. And again, this is another little puzzle that we have to do in a particular order. If you actually look at the drumstick, um, it tells you which order um, you have to do it in, but we're not going to bother. So, grab the drum, grab the drumstick over here. So yeah, nice easy little puzzle, and let's do this. So, on the very left hand side one then, which is basically uh, 9 o'clock or whatever, click it and then click the drumstick once. Then the very top one, click it and click the drumstick three times. So, click, then drumstick, click, then drumstick, click, then drumstick. Then, it's the very right one once. So there it is, click the drumstick once, and then it's sort of 7 slash 8 o'clock, whatever. Click this one twice, so twice on the drumstick, and then the very middle option, the yin-yang symbol. Click that once, and that is how you do that puzzle. So, again, the puzzles, if you're doing this on your own, may take a bit of time to sort of um, have a look, but, you know, time is something we don't have these days, since we're all... Since, uh, you know, we, we can't afford a house and everything, thanks to Kirsty Allsop. Give up Starbucks and give up gym and give up gaming and then you'll be able to afford a house. Thanks, Kirsty, you stupid moron. Anyway, uh, getting off a bit subject there, weren't we? So, that's the puzzle done. We're going to speak to the deer, smash through the dialogue again, and then basically enjoy the cutscene of DEATH. Oh no, how unfortunate the sheep shagging murderers have got me. They killed me in my dream. Oh no. That's how Welsh people speak on TV for some reason. They make us sound quite moronic. But there we go. Um, <laughs> we can interact with the journal, which is on the table. Flick the pages a couple over. And then with a blank page, just click on it once. There it is. And then interact with that using the hand icon. That's going to go... Oh, those... Those boys tried bumming me like they tried bumming them sheep, and I didn't let them, I didn't, because I woke up, I did. There we go. Right, so now we're going to go outside. Basically, we're into the sort of justice department, the sort of police precinct area. Uh, so what we're going to do, after we see this beautiful bird, and you can see what I mean by the pixel art is just, honestly, it's just so nice in this game. Really, really beautiful. But what we're going to do is grab the hammer slash mallet, which is on the right-hand side on the shelf. It does look more like a mallet than a hammer, but we'll we'll take it anyway. Because, of course, stuff comes in handy when you've got no pockets to put it in. We're going to exit to the map. And then where we're going, we're going to... Ugh, we're going to no, now go to the Imperial Palace. Which, of course, is just at the top there, so pick the Imperial Palace. And away we go! Now, there's not much to do here. It's a little cutscene, and then we have to walk to the right... Um, why does that woman on the left there kind of look like Snoo Snoo Lady from Futurama? Anyway, uh, what we need to do is just speak to the Queen, the Empress right here, and just smash through all the dialogue. So not a lot going on apart from smashing dialogues out.
Well, damn, sorry, yo, mate. Kind of sounds like, yo, mate. Yo, that's your mate in there. That's your mate. Right, anyway, we're going back to the Justice Department as we exit to the map. I'll tell you what, those women are very angry. Although, I suppose everyone's being killed, etc. So, it's ne it never makes for a happy occasion, really. Right, so what we're going to do is head down. Eventually, stop thinking about your mate. That's not your mate in there. Now go to the right into the lobby. Now this is like the police precinct department type thing. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to this guy. Uh, so again, it's a whole case of just smashing through all the dialogue options until the dialogue is no longer. At, your dispo at my disposal, eh? Get your major wang out, son. Ti it's time for wang inspection. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, it's not. You know, you can keep it in your pants, buddy. Go to the Evans box there, just behind major uh, that guy. And then we're going to get three different things added to our inventory, which is nice. Now we can just go back out and to the left. Uh, but go down and into the, uh, into the lock-up area. Basically, we're just going to spe be speaking to... Well, uh, this guy right here, which is General Zhu Dan. Hello, Mr. Dan. So, again, it's just a case of smashing through every single... You killed your own daughter, man, that's quite scummy. That's as scummy as you can get. Right, anyway, smash through all the dialogue once again. I cradled her head in my arms. That's, um, disturbing. So we're just going to leave. Right, see you later, Dan. Um, I don't want to know about you cradling your daughter's head anymore. Anyway, going all the way to the right here, we're just going to go into the morgue, which is just behind. Very small police precinct, by the way, isn't it? Where's all the dead bodies, bro? Coroner, yo. Where's the dead bodies, yo? But again, Coroner, yo, sorry. We're going to speak to Mr. Yao. And then we're just going to go through, once again, all of the dialogue options. Tell me about yourself. My name's Yo. I come from your mama, yo. Nah, that was crap. Right, let's go out to the lobby to get ourselves some awesome Chinese snacks. And in fact, we haven't got time for to get no snacks. We're going straight out to the courtyard. Let's do some Welsh detective dye work, is it? Let's go to the map then. Come on. Next, we're going to the victim's house. Why do Welsh people speak so stupid on TV? Make us look like idiots, man. Right, so from here where we go in... Uh, we're not going up there. We're going to go to the window on the right-hand side, just by the logs. And we're going to interact with the footprints, which are on the ground. So just a couple of things that we have to look at. Um, because when we put the... We're going to go into our inventory. Grab the footprint, footprint sketch and dra drag it over to the footprints. Um, yeah, we can do that. But what we actually need to do is go to the fence and have a look at the alleyway. And then when we have a look at the alleyway, no rush there, Detective Die Boy. And now what we should be able to do is, after we interact with the alleyway in the window, drag the footprint sketch, drag it over to the footprints. And now Detective Die Boy should get on his knee and be like, oh yes, this is a footprint. Oh, but in fact, we've got one more thing to do yet. We've got to actually interact with the window. 
sorry. So interact with the window, the alleyway, and the footprints, then <laughs> drag the footprint sketch over. Sorry, my bad, forgot about the window. And now we should be like, hmm, yes, this is footprint. And there we go, we've got our first clue out of five for the chapter. Job done. Now we can go home and get ourselves some snacks. But we'd actually need to go into the house. Don't worry about any ninjas sneaking up on you. It's not that type of game, luckily. So first thing to do, have a look at the area of interest and just interact with it with the uh, using the eye icon. And then what we're going to do is examine the bloodstains, examine the tip chair, and examine the bedside chair. So, hmm, yes, this looks tipped up. But what that gets us is a fragment of wood. Once again, of course, it's going to come in handy just later. So have a little summarise, be all like, Ah yes, the guy bought a sheep in yeah, chopped his knob off and then stuck it in his mouth. What the hell is wrong with people? Right, interact with the mat. <laughs> interact with the mat anyway. That's where some uh, Jin Lin Fei slept. And now we are going to interact with the table. In fact, no, apologies. We're going to interact with the cabinet. And then we're going to interact with the um, wall marks, which are literally just to the left of the cabinet. So interact with the wall marks right there. Sorry, that's why you've seen a little bit of an edit there. I was trying to get a table where there was no table. So after interacting with the wall marks, interact with the cabinet, and then a little slip of paper is going to come out. So get out the note. And then once again, of course, go into your inventorious. And then just press the A button once on the note. The time is near. Well, it's, I mean, it's about 8 o'clock. I'm pretty hungry right now, so yeah, I guess it is. But it is a secret note, and we have found it, and that's the second out of five collectibles now. Uh, clues, sorry for the deduction board, so there we go. Right, from here, what we're going to do now, go into the inventory again, and grab the fragment of wood and drag it over to the broken walking stick. Somehow, without tape, that's not good, it, it's just going to work absolutely fine. Somehow, we are just that magic. Now we can interact with the broken, or the fixed walking stick. Um, actually view it. The killer did not have to use force. Oh, wow, we're making incredible deductions. But clicking on the fixed walking stick gives us our third clue, what we need. And that's it from the house. So again, we're not going to take any any belongings or we're not going to take any food. Have a look at Zhao Bao, who sounds more like a panda. Panda Bao. Again, just smash out all of the dialogue options here. Get your head out of it, you big dongleberry. Okay, well, thanks, Mr. Xiao Bao. We'll be back with your Bao Bouter on. Right, go back to the map to the left hand side. Next, we're going back to the Justice Department. It's a pretty cool, Justice Department. It beats the UK Police Department, that is for damn sure. Where they're all in just in crappy courses and they've got to do a bunch of paperwork and that. Nah, boring. Right, go back into the lobby and we're going to speak to our uh, Mr. Man right here. I keep forgetting his name, sorry. But just ask him about Zhao Bao's medallion. I'm at your disposal. <laughs> well, well, didn't you know it's cock inspection time? Uh, get it out, officer. Anyway, go to the morgue when you've finished checking out that guy's cock inspection. Uh, right, speak to Coroner Yao again. And once again, we're just going to ask him about the medallion. Alright, soldier, now it's time to get on out of here. By the way, Futurama's coming back. Oh, is everyone happy about that? I am. So, now we're into the map. Sorry, it sounded more like I had a cold there than Zap Brannigan. Right, we're going... Well, we're going here, and we're going to look at the bird once again. There he goes again. Right, now we're actually going to interact with the plant that he was just on. So, use your, use your fingers to finger the plant. Not sure if plants like that, but there's only three ways to find out. Right, uh, interact with the exposed, <laughs> exposed brick. And then what we need to do, we can't actually put it out ourselves, so we can view it. Uh, which basically, now no, we now know that somebody has tampered with the wall. So, we need to go back. <laughs> it's Like I said, it is a lot of back and forth in this game, which, eh, nothing wrong with it, but, you know. Could have at least just opened up a map for us to go to different places, but there we go. We need to go back into the morgue. And there is going to be in the top right hand corner a little um, medical chisel for us to grab. So interact with that. Have a little back and forth between uh, um, Coroner Yo-Yo 
，悠悠。Come on, let me take it. I'll be your friend. Ah,、oh, thanks, Carney. Yow yow. So now let's go back to the lobby. Let's go all the way to the left. Let's go back outside to the courtyard. Yeah. And expose that broken wall. Boop boop boop. Man, I am so talent. Not. Right. So what we're doing now? We've got what we need. We need to interact the hammer with the chisel. So grab the hammer over to the chisel. To make it into a hammer and chisel, funny that one. Then we can grab the hammer and chisel, use it on the exposed brick, and that is exactly what we need. How long has this exposed brick been here? What that does is gives us the four out of five clues. So now we're on to a winner. Not long left to this first chapter left. It is again, it's a good game, but it is a short game. When we know what we're doing and where we're going, you can just blast through it like said in an hour and a half. So, in a sense, that is a unmissable achievement. Now we're going to go back to the victim's house, and we're going to go into our inventory, grab the medallion, and give it to Zhao Bao, Mr. Pao, Mr. Chow, who was fantastic in the Hangover film series. Right. So again, a little bit of a, oh, you a little man. <laughs> Hello, little man. So there we go then. Thank you, Zhao Bao, Mr. Bao. That gives us five out of five. That's the investigation complete, and that will get us the next achievement there. So we should now be on four achievements. There it is. A dear warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we can basically go back to the Imperial Palace, and we are going to、uh, interact with the Empress. Go through all the dialogue once again. Sorry, yo mate. Don't kick my ass, man. So back to the case reenactment. Remember, we have to choose the right and specific dialogue option. So don't spam through the dialogue as much.、Uh, this one is spying on them, as we were able to see earlier. He was spying on them, which is quite.、Um, I mean, to be honest, mate, you've got OnlyFans these days, and you've got literally porn on everything. So you don't have to spy on people these days, mate.、Um, although I suppose he's not doing it for that particular reason. Ignore me. So anyway, with this next one. He's all like, "Oh my God! Please, no, no, don't kill me, man!" Now choose breaking Judan's walking stick, which is the top option there. So breaking Judan's walking stick could have used absolutely anything, but he chose a walking stick. So yeah, unlucky, bruh. And then for the last one, it is a warning. So the bottom option there, a warning, and that should do that one. Slaves' heart fear. Ah,、uh, you warning me that a slave will fear me by eating hearts, or that my heart will eat a slave's fear? I don't know what's going on, but I certainly like it. Right, little cutscene, and then on to chapter two. So here we are. Let's start chapter two, shall we? So, first thing we're going to do is speak to Lieutenant Ma. Hey, Lieutenant Ma, where's Lieutenant Pa? 
<laughs> sorry. I shouldn't eat the piss. I'm very sorry. So again, it's a whole heap of dialogue options that we don't have to go through because we just have to speak to Lieutenant Ma. Go get your pa, Ma. <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, we're going to walk up and go all the way to the house. Wow, this house has a circle door. That's key. Right, so what we need to do is speak to this guy, Mr. Lamb, old pork chop, on the right-hand side. And again, smash through all the dialogue that you can and be like, Mr. Lamb, Mr. Pork, Mr. Beef, Mr. Chicken. Okay, there we go. Right, so we're all good. You, apparently calling him Mr. Chicken, that gets him to actually speak to us. Right, smash through all the dialogue anyway. <laughs> So after speaking to Mr. Beef Pork, what we're going to do is grab the book, which is just by the um, naked dead body. Why is the priest constantly looking at the naked dead body? Morg people may be weird. They, uh, yeah, apparently according to TV and everything anyway. Right, uh, interact with the dead body anyway, and he's going to say Lieutenant Marpa was right, and then we're just going to go through all the dialogue options again here. So, first thing we're going to do is go into our inventory now. Or well, the next thing we're going to do, go into our inventory, interact with the book once. And then just have a look at it there. It basically says a whole bunch of stuff. Um, <laughs> just so we know. And then what we can do is exit out of here. And then in the top right hand corner, that gets us a first out of six clues for the chapter. And then have a look at the top right hand corner. There is a pink rose. Please ignore the edit. I was looking at everything else except what I was looking for. But on the, um, just to the right bookcase there was the pink rose. So make sure to have picked that one up where we're standing right now. And then we should be good for this particular section. So now we can, oh in fact no we need to look at the rug. Sorry, look at the rug. We need to lift that one up. And there it is. So lift up the rug and grab the note that is sticking out of there. People are not very good at hiding these secret notes. Well, this killer isn't very good anyway. So, inventory, and then click the A button on it once. To those who to those who obey, let prey be mine. I have no sway, but death shall align. He's a good poem mist, isn't he? Right, so anyway, now we can get back out. Go down. And we can actually use um, a... Uh, use this uh, slot. So, interact with the slot. We're trying to get a bridge going. And, uh, sorry, no, go into your inventory first, now choose the lever, put it that, <coughs> excuse me, in the slot, and then we can choose the slot. Sorry, getting all out of whack by you, ain't we? Right, let's see what the lever then does then, die, Mr. Die. Die, boy. Die, pasty, boy. Oh, happy days, it <laughs> somehow gets us th this big bridge. Right, this bit was a bit of a pain in the ass, very fidgety for me, this one. So, instead of doing what I was doing there, just try and put the cursor by Detective Die's feet, and then... Very slowly, he should start coming down, because for, for whatever reason, his brain does slightly stroke off for a second there, and it does take him a while. So, um, yeah, just put the cursor just below him right there, and eventually, we're going to get to this next puzzle. Right, now, this next puzzle, we basically have to put white and black chess markers. We need to pick up the stone key first, uh, which adds that to our inventory, and we need to put these white and black... Um, chess markers in specific spots so you can either watch what I'm doing or you can just fast forward it to 46 minutes and 5 seconds to see the finished product and do it from there up to you
So once that is done then, and it looks exactly as it does there, go ahead and grab the stone tablet again, put it in the stone, the stone key into the slot. Again, just make sure it looks exactly as it does there. If it does, then the puzzle basically automatically completes. And the stone thing goes away, we can actually go down now. And that'll get us the chess master achievement. Again, that'll be unmissable because we have to do it to progress the story. Right, press the A button just once here, and Detective Die Boy's going to get out his lighter. His lighter and his uh, fags from his pocket. And he's going to use the lighter to light up the way on the candles. All right, then. So what we're going to do, have a look at the right uh, bookcase right here, and there is an invitation. Uh, yes, let's uh, pick it up, the invitation then card, Mr. Die Boy. Die Pasty Boy. And then on the left, uh, well, actually, we're going to go to the inventory. We're going to look at the invitation. Uh, basically just to see where it is and when we go in and that gives us the second clue That's why we have to interact with a lot of our uh, Inventory items to get us the next clue on the deduction board So basically we're done with this area so we can go up and down and all around But just keep heading down Right East Pier next please East 17 Pier. Sounds like a crappy old boy band, that, doesn't it? Welcome, this is East Pier. Yeah, we're in love with everyone. Anyway, we're going to go all the way to the right for now. We're just going to interact and have a little look at the flower boat. Sadly, it's not like one of those party boats that you get in Kavos or when you're on holiday, but still. It'll do. It's something that we need to do. So, go to the left and then head uh, we're going to head down first And then what we're going to do then is speak to the guy in a boat or the lady in a boat. Sorry Zhang Ren Zhang Ren and Stimpy so uh, have a look at Ren and Stimpy and give her a little conversation list Oi, my name's Dai. You know give me a bloody lift you little bastard So as is the norm for most detectives, it's a case of you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, you lazy little Ren and Stimpy son of a... So what we have to do then is go up and we're going to speak to Mao Yi. And again, what's going to happen is you're just going to smash through all of the dialogue options once again. Tell me about yourself. Well, my name's Mao Yi and I need a wee. Yeah, I am Eminem now apparently. So going through all the dialogue options and asking about the letters will give us letters that we need in order to advance the story. So inventory, um, press the A button there on the letters and again you can have a little read through if you want to but um, honestly I can't really read it. That's my, <laughs> that's my old age now, my 32 years where my eyes start going a bit nuts. So you can speak, um, after viewing the letters, speak to Mao Yi again, ask her about the... Uh, birthday notes and then again just go through all the dialogue options right but anyway the first word is not the second word is dead the third word is hiding the fourth word is east not dead hiding east so there we go so those were the specific dialogue options that we needed to pick but the rest were fine so not dead hiding east and then we can move on very good it's very good uh right let us speak to sorry let us, we're gonna speak to ren and stimpy once again here you ain't gonna get much fish fishing but air love i tell you right anyway let's go Let's go over to the boat party. It is the Kavos boat party. I lied. But it's for high-end posh people. And nobody really likes posh people, do they? Anyway, interact with the rope and we're going to climb up. So, welcome to the Kavos boat party. Except it's absolutely not and we just have to find General Zhang. So, what we're going to do then, first, it's not much of a party. There's like four people there and a wine waiter. Interesting, we're gonna speak to the wine waiter anyway. Again, smash through all the dialogue. That's not a very Chinese name, is it? Hello, my name is Mr. Wine Waiter. Uh -uh. Right, so when you speak to Mr. Wine Waiter, what we're gonna do is go 
to the left and then up the stairs. Uh, hopefully you can get it dead on first time. <laughs> Otherwise it may be another tricky situation. Don't go into the wine room yet. We're going to go all the way around. And then down and to the right. And then again we're going to then find General Zhang. And we're just going to have a little, little teensy teensy chat. Now, for this dialogue option, just make sure to choose, well, do you have proof? So, the top option there, do you have proof? Again, a lot of the times we can smash through the dialogue. Um, there's only a couple of occasions we have to choose specific ones. And obviously, that was one, that was it, that was, then, was, then, was. Then. Right. So, what's going to happen is, oh my god, we don't know what's going on. But go to the right, go into the dining room, through the double doors here. And then, dun dun dun. Uh, she's got some tissues, but it's not for the good reason why people normally have tissues stashed around and crumpled up. She's actually crying with them. And we're all going to see. Sobs. Sons of bitches. Go to the right and, oh no, yet more naked dead women. Damn it! This is not good. We need to get to the goddamn bottom of it, Detective Die Boy. So... Madam, we need to speak. That's what we're going to do. So, again, this time we're going to smash through all the dialogue anyway. She just said, tell him to come first. You don't have to tell me twice. 12 seconds. Right, anyway, after speaking to her, that is the, <laughs> the third out of five. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That's the third out of five clues that we've got anyway. And then General Zhang's going to be all like, Oh, no. Why would anybody do this? No. And then again, we're just going through all the dialogue. No. And as you've just seen, going through that dialogue gives us our fourth clue. And make sure to pick up the rose. Of course, this is um, becoming quite the theme for the killer to leave a pink rose. Interact with the dead body. And then we're just going to examine her head, torso, arms and legs. Um, again, now if this was Detective Die in the Sheep Shagging Murders, what would he leave? Would he leave like a, a sheep's knob or a sheep's bollock or a sheep's sheep's skin or something? I don't know. Anyway, pick up the glass bowl on the uh, shelf just next to the lovely dead body there. And then go to the right, interact with the trail of blood. You have to do these because you can't actually exit without doing this. And finally, go out to the balcony and just have a look at Chang'an. A be beautiful cities, beautiful cities. I would genuinely, I'd love to go to China. China and Japan are on my bucket list to go to, to be honest. Um, again, we've already seen the blood trail there, so you don't have to do that. You don't have to speak to anyone. Now we can just walk away and get there. Hell out of Mia. And since we're getting the hell out of Mia, let's go to the left Mia. And then up. And then. She, now she's all like, oh, 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 the banquet will be worth the wait. You better not be chopping her up, then, I tell you. You better not be chopping up that poor woman. Anyway, going all the way to the left, we're going into the wine room first. So you see these double doors here on the left? Snip down, and then we're going to have a look at the blood stains just in between the two barrels. Could have been a bit hard to see, but not bad, not bad. Now pick up the basket, or interact with the basket, sorry. And we get a key, and that gives us our fifth out of six uh, clues for the case. So going well, going well. Right now we got those two. We can go back to the reception, and now we're going up and around. And we're going into the next set of double doors, which is the dressing room there, on the right. <clears throat> Excuse me, not COVID related, I swear. Right, go in your inventory then. Go and grab the key, which should now be on your right hand side, and interact it with the makeup box, which is just on the bench. Just to the right of us there, there we go. 
So, take a look in there. Oh, <laughs> cosmetic facial powders. Wow, that's incredible. You're finding makeup in a makeup box. That's mad. How did you know that? Right, so what we need to do now is actually get... Um, you can have a look at the rolled up piece of paper, but it's too small to read. So, go into your inventory, get your glass bowl, and then put it in the water on the right hand side, the little water basin. So, obviously what that gives us is a bowl full of water. That's mad how these things work out, right? So now we can go to your inventory, now you can put up the roll- oh, God damn it! Sorry. Now you can put up the rolled piece of paper in the glass bowl full of water, and then we can go back to the inventory, and then we can click on the magnified message. To my distant admirer, your prize is in the green lantern under the stars. Oh. Oh, is that Major Wang? Who's after some Major Wang? Let's go find- let's go and find uh, Mr. Wang. Mr. Witch Wang? That Wang. Tiny Wang. Right, so now we're going down- uh, Basically, we're not going downstairs again to the four party people. How boring is that? We're going back to the dining room. Like so. And then what we're going to do is go all the way to the right. Um, do we have to speak to General Zhang? No, we don't. We're just going all the way to the right. And then on the right-hand side is a green lantern. So interact with that. Pressing the hand icon on it. And then basically, he's going to get hit harder than if he'd just had a whole heap of Colombian <laughs> Colombian white yum-yums stuffed up his nose. This is the third note uh, added to our inventory. But like I said, he gets the Colombian yum-yums and that messes him up. But we've got six out of six clues now. So that's good. Yeah. Oh, the gravy boat thickens, baby. But that's the end of this one. We're just going to go back to the Imperial Palace, since that's the only place we can go to. And we, again, go through all of the dialogue options, do all this jazz, and we're going to be finished with this chapter. And there'll be one more chapter to, go, to do in about 25 minutes or so. Your Majesty, I bring you love. He's bringing love. Break its legs. Oh, of course we haven't even done the bloody case reenactment yet. Oh, my bad. Again, specific dialogue options here, of course. So, the first one is going to be all of the above. So, bottom option there, all of the above. And there we go. Delishimundo. Brilliant. So for this next one, again, remember not to keep spamming the A button, because for some reason you may end up picking the wrong dialogue option. Uh, what you need to do now is press the She Had No Loved Ones option there at the bottom. She had no loved ones. And now she's going to get all stabby stabby. Wah! And lucky. Don't try strangling me from behind and you won't get stabbed in the throat. I think that's pretty good life advice there for everyone. Try not to strangle someone, lest you be stabbed in the throat. Right, and for the final one, what we need to choose is... The long absence and return. So the second option, the long absence and return. And that is the end of this chapter. And then we've got about, like I said, about 23, 24 minutes now to end the game and do the final chapter.
bro, you really don't want to be messing with wielding sword ninjas. God damn it, no. So, back to the courtyard. Welcome to the final chapter, then. Let's finish off the game, shall we? So, go all the way to the right, into the lobby. To get ourselves some chats, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't matter which option you pick here. Um, I usually just pick the top option, because... Well, it just makes no difference. You all end up going through the same thing, and you all in, always end up getting the same bits of inventory items anyway. So, again, we can talk to this guy if we want, but we're just going to exit out. Don't worry, thank you, Major Cock Inspection. I, I, I forgot his name, so I'm just going to call him uh, Mr. Cock Inspection instead. Uh, but we're going to the morgue, where we're going to once again speak to Coroner Yao. And after yet another happy, delightful little conversation, we're going back out to the Lobo. And we're going all the way back out this time. Got him, we don't speak to the officer there. That is uh, just chilling, doing writing all of her life. That's exciting. Right, we're going to exit out to the map now. And then we're going to the central market for the first time. Interesting. Right, go, and s go ahead and speak to Gang One, which is um, Gok Wan's... Uh, better, more fashionable, less weird, brother. And again, just smash through all of the dialogue with uh, Mr. Gok Geng Wang. And after that whole conversation of asking him the same four questions as I apparently just did, that'll get us our first clue. Now we can go and speak to Mrs. Cho, who is uh, with this beautiful soup. Uh, but basically what we're doing now is kind of a little puzzle thing. We need to rescue her idiotic cat. Because why Why do cats do that? You tell them to do something, they stick their middle claw up to you and do something else. Anyway, choose the option, I'll bring him down. And <laughs> that's exactly what we're going to do. And the first things first, if we go to the right, just underneath where the cat is, just to the right of the table is some cat food. So pick that one up. You hungry, you little douchebag? Probably, cats are always hungry. Right, we're going to go to the left, and we're going to see eventually a little alleyway. There it is, and an umbrella in it. So make sure to pick up and steal the umbrella. It's not stealing, bro. We are a detective. Detective die. Stealing all the things, man. Right, now, use the interim inventory, use the cat food with the umbrella um, to sort of stick that on the umbrella. <clears throat> We've got this. This is why we are Detective Die Pasty Boy. Because we know what to do and how to get rid of cats. I mean, save cats, of course. Save them. <laughs> so get the umbrella out, use it with the chair. Then we're obviously going to stand up. Cat's going to jump down. And we're going to save the day. Give me some money. Alright, alright, alright. So, that one is done. We've done all that. We've d expected all the dialogue. Gone through all the dialogue. Now have a look at the posters just by the table there. And then, um, basically, we can just interact with them, but we're going to examine the green posters, the red posters, and the torn posters anyway. So it doesn't really matter where you click. Summarize that, boy. <laughs> And then when we get out of that, we're going to go to the right, and we're going to go out of the central market for now. So let's exit to Maparino, and we're going to go to the Golden Gate Theatre on the right-hand side. Lovely. Not a lot to do here. Oh, the Zhao Twin Sisters. Very nice. Right, speak to Guy in Blue. 
Sorry, I missed his name right there. And again, smash through all the dialogue as we've been doing. There we go, that's the second clue done. Now what we're going to do, we should have a strange note on our inventory. So, in your inventory, have a look at it. 53794, that is my pin number. Ah, just joking, that's five number. I almost got you, you son of a... Right, go to the left anyway. And then what, where we're going to go is we're going to go to Mr. Dong's house. So, uh, get all the way to the right. There it is. So, let's get our dong out and go there. And what we're going to do is just pick up the uh, silk rose petal, which is in the flower pot, just to where we started. And that's beautiful. The stem's wet, so there is obviously some secrety thing going on. Um, but we're going to go into our inventory. We're going to interact with the silk rose. Um, basically, just so that we know that the stem is wet, so there is a secret thing that's going on. But we can just go back to the map. Now, since we've interacted with that, we can now go to the Imperial Library. Which should be there. Now we're going to speak to Kong Meng Meng Tao. Kong Meng Tao. So, let's do some riddling now. So, Jesus Christ, Detective Pasty is uh, it's a hell of a day. Interact with the paper in front of you and then choose the word ash. And then choose the word dust. So, from ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I swear I don't like it in the butt. Uh, that is true. Right, have a look at the portraits of ash and dust now on the left-hand side. And you can only obviously do that when you speak to the guy on the right hand side there with the riddles. So we've got a bookmark now that's added to inventory. So go into your inventory, get the bookmark and give it to Kong Meng Tao. King Kong. And then again, I'm looking for a book. And just again, yeah, smash, smash through everything. Anyway, makes no difference. And now we can exit. Yay! Oh, come back soon, Chinese, uh, d d d Chinese Welsh die. Rare to see Welsh dies in, uh, in China, man. Right, now let's go back to the central market anyway. And we go in left, we go in left, past uh, Gok Wan's better brother, past the soup lady, past this guy who we don't even speak to, and we're going to speak to this lovely woman in yellow, uh, Jing Yali. So speak to her, and again, do all the things which we do in... All through the dialogue, all that jazz magoni. And you may think that was pointless. Well, it wasn't, probably. Uh, but let's go all the way back to the right for now. Now, it's all about information, of course. That's a detective's job. Just get information and then uh, blame someone later. Go back to the Imperial Library. <clears throat> and then what we're doing, just to the left of Kong Meng Tao, there is a little um, plaque that we need to grab. So we don't actually need to speak to him. So ignore that little bit. Oh, thanks, Dai. Now grab the plaque that was just left, to, uh, left of King Kong right there. Lovely. And that's all we need for the Imperial Library. Now we are totally done with this bit. And life is just... It's just grand, isn't it? Now we're going back to the central market. Yes, I'm wondering now if we could have just taken the plaque before. But, uh, well, you know, we're, we're on an adventure, aren't we? So, uh, 
not, no, not, not as much as Lord of the Rings and Frodo and everything, but there we go. So, go ahead, give the plaque to Ying Jali, Jing Yali, sorry. And after that one again, we're going all the way to the right. <laughs> A lot of walking. Soup lady, get me out some goddamn soup, bruh. I am dying. Anyway, we're going back to Mr. Dong's house. Small Dong, Han Small Dong. Interact with the flower pot. And interact with it again. And then basically, if we uh, now we can uh, use a hand icon on it. And we can grab something out, the wooden contraption. Again, we could have probably done this earlier, but um, we had to do all that bit with the central market and Imperial Library. So, have a look at the door. <clears throat> get your inventory out, and then get the wooden contraption, put it in the right-hand side. Now, there are only three ways that we need to turn it. And the first one, we're going to um, turn the left knob right once. So, as you'll be able to see in just a minute, I'm going to go over to the left knob. And make sure that the arrow is pointing right, and then turn that one right. Go over to the right knob. There we go. Go over to the right knob and turn that left once. So make sure again that the arrow is turned left. And then go back to the left knob and turn that left once. And that is how you do that then. So it's the left knob right once. The right knob left once. And the left knob left once. Um, I hope that... Um, <laughs> I hope that... Uh, was a bit uh, not too tricky to explain and that you got that with ease. Anyway, go inside, have a look at the chest. And again, as per usual, there's a few items. The main one being this silk cloth, so make sure to grab the silk cloth. And then what I do is just interact with every piece of paper here, um, just to be on the safe side. And then when we back, uh, back out at the bottom of the screen, we're going to get this little bit of cutscene. We're also going to get the balance achievement. Again, this is unmissable. Only in roughly around eight or nine minutes. I know, in fact, it's just in a couple of minutes we're going to be coming up to the supposed admissible one. But we're going to make a manual save anyway, just to be sure. So go back to the central market again. And again, just smack go all the way to the left. Soup lady, where's my soup? <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Right, now we've sustained ourselves, apparently. Go into your inventory, get out the silk cloth, and give it to Jing Ya Li. Jing Ya Li, Jing Ya Li, hey, hey. And as you can see, doing that gives us the third and fourth clue out of five. So, we're getting there. We're close now. We are literally about eight minutes away from finishing the game now. So, it's coming on. It's coming on. So, exit to the bloody map. And now, we can go to the mountain pass. Now, this is where I would make the manual save. Again, to get the missable achievement, you have to choose a specific set of dialogue options. But it can be easily missed. So make sure that you've chosen to make a manual save here. Um, grab the like a little bit of wood that we've just picked up right in the middle of the cart uh, the cart there. So make sure to pick up that piece of wood. And then what we're going to do is have a look at um, Commander Yao. Yao Mei. Yao Mei. Right. What you need to do. This is the missable um, achievement. So you can say about the ambush. That's fine. So just smash through about the ambush. Blah de blah de blah, all good. Now choose about her wound. About her wound. You did your best. And now make sure to choose your father. Very important to get that achievement there, so make sure to choose your father right now. And that is what will get us the Family Matters achievement. And there it is. Coroner Yao. Oh, Yao Mei, Coroner Yao. Oh, I get it now. Father and daughter and everything. 
Nice. Right, that is how you get the Family Matters achievement again. As long as you made a manual save, um, if you do end up missing up, you can just reload that save. If you didn't, you'll have to unfortunately replay the chapter again. Um, but hopefully you followed what I've done, got that one, and now we can go to the hillside and speak to this guy who is going to die. Um, here he is, my love. Han Sidong seems to be the um, murderer. Yes. Apparently. Well, that, um, that was interesting. That gets us our achievement. Uh, but have a look at Han Sidong and grab the key. Uh, yeah, yeah, so if you read that, then you'll understand exactly what just happened all throughout the game and why things have been going the way things have been going. Anyway, get the cylinder key, put it in the tomb door. After you interact with the tomb door, of course, that'll always come in handy. All right, here we are. Again, another small puzzle, but nothing too damning, disturbing, disgusting, or difficult in any case. Uh, we basically just need to choose the correct options once, um, and they are fire. So fire, which is the bottom right-hand corner. Eventually. Come in! Come in! There it is. No, sorry, it's Earth. Earth is the bottom right-hand corner one. God, I got it wrong from the start. Earth, the top, the one above that, which is fire, and then water, which is the left-hand one. So Earth, fire, and water. They are the ones that you need to choose in order to get the tomb door open. And again, we've just got a few more little things to do. Han Dang is dead now. No more people have to die. Right, so there is the Empress. She's all, you know, trapped and stiff. So again, try not to be as dongish as me there. You've got to put the <laughs> stick in the lever hole. That will do it. You don't actually have to give it to the Empress, of course. That makes all the sense. Right, we've got a little thing that pops up right here. So what we're going to do is just go all the way to the right into inner chamber, ignoring the creepy-ass mannequin things. Go to the right again and grab the wooden tablet. Again, this one will come in. Me -me -me Mega handy. Go to the corridor, left-hand side into the corridor. And let us basically... Let's just finish this. Let's finish this now. So... Uh, what we need to do is go all the way to the right until you see the little waterfall bits happening. Um, <laughs> that's where we need to put the wooden tablet. So go to the left. There it is. We see these two little bits of waterfalls. Put the wooden tablets in either one. I just put it on the right side because that's where I was closest to. And now we've got a wet wooden tablet. Oh uh, no, somebody's iPad. Thumin. Okay, Cumin. Now we're going to interact with the panel. And we just have to do this again. It's another particular order that we have to do it in. And the order is first. We need to put it into water, or the, which is a wave right there. And then we have to put it into fire. And then metal is the last one. So water, fire, and metal. Th they are the three. And then when that's done, something's going nuts. And then, we're, well, yeah, we're basically done. Ah, yes, yeah, snuff. Uh, just make sure to choose the I trust option here at the top. I trust, and then we can just blast through the dialogue once more.
Ah, put your souls down, you goddamn pansies. Get the hell out of here. Let me move. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Right, so basically, um, that should be your last achievement now. Um, but there's only like a tiny little bit left to do in the game, so I'm just going to keep on showing it to you anyway. Um, all we need to do is just interact with and talk to the deer again. But by now, like I said, you should have 10, uh, the 12 out of 12 achievements. Job's done, or 10 out of 10, however much it bloody is. But you should now be 1,000 Gs richer, but we're going to speak to the deer. Basically, get the hell out of the way, you lazy butthole. And there it is then, the end of Detective Die, the Sheep Shagger Murders, and Detective D, the Silk Rose Murders. So that was fun, wasn't it, gang? Now that was, I enjoyed that one, and I hope you did too. And I do hope that the guide helped as well. If it did, don't forget of course to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Uh, don't uh, forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, big huge shout out to everyone who continues to support uh, me on the uh, on Patreon for the channel, so thank you so much to everyone there. And that'll be that then, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.